Hey everybody. Guys, welcome to Strong Confident Living. Laura and Scott here on time management. Oh boy. Oh boy, we have been having fun with this one our whole lives. So this is a really important broadcast. If you ever feel like I have pretty much my whole life that you have been working against time, that you don't have enough time, that you can get stuck sometimes in overwhelm, which is just the feeling from the belief that you don't have enough time. So welcome. We are going to crush through time management today. And this guy is like amazing for me when it comes to time management. You don't say that all the time though. I don't. No, you don't. No, no we have other Won't choice get into words. That. But, um, you know, welcome if you're just tuning in. This entire week is about prepping for our six week challenge for weight loss to feel great, to look better, feel better over the next six weeks challenge, as well as for business. So wherever you fall and whatever your goals are, we're going to work with you to crush them. This is clear the clutter week here at Strong Confident Living. So yesterday we cleared out our physical spaces right Gone. now around our house. So we're working on some little piles here and there. Mm -hmm. And today we are working on time management, clearing the clutter of your potential beliefs and mine. We're gonna work through this together. Hey, we're all a work in process. Yeah. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna work through your beliefs about time and how that could be holding you back. So we're gonna crush through those and kind of create some new beliefs about time. So that is our first question to you. What do you believe about time? Do you feel ever that you don't have enough time, that you're so busy? Okay, that used to be me. Yes, it was. Okay, I'm too busy. I'm too busy for that. I'm too busy for this. I can't do that. Okay, I'm just way too busy. And everyone would even get that feeling from me. Like, Laura, I know you're so busy, but, and, I, and people would even start their conversations with me like that. And I'd be like, OMG, I am putting this off because it's coming from a belief that I don't have enough time. So this is step one. What do you believe about time? Ask yourself, Scott, what do you believe about time? It's funny, I was like, I don't even think about it like that. I just I just make my decisions and go. I don't try to stress about it. I just label what has to be done and I just work my way through it. Okay, that is the opposite of me. You could see where we're a yin and a yang here. That's very pleasant. Because for me, I've always been, uh, I'm late, I'm running late. I feel like I'm running against time sometimes when I'm driving in my car trying to get to like the worldwide workout. Um, and what I was feeding was the belief that I didn't have enough time and that time was not on my side, that I was literally flowing against time and it felt like a brick wall at all times. So that is step one. What is your awareness just around your belief about what time is? Scott has no problem with time because he believes it's no problem. It is no problem. It's no problem. There's only on time. That is my goal, okay? <laughs> There's only on time. He's like, Laura, there is no problem with time, and I'm always on time because there's no problem with time. Okay, so that is beautiful. That is literally one of my goals over the next six week challenge is to believe that time is of no problem because there's no problem with time, and I'm flowing go. with it. Baby steps. So flip Baby steps. the focus. Okay, so if you struggle with time management like I have, and you want to work towards it, flip the focus from I don't have enough time to time is no problem. There is no problem with time. I flow with time because time, time is just like liter, literally linear movement of step, 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 step through our world. Right, babe? Well, again, it comes down to, yeah, just creating the choice of either making the time or not. It's that simple. It's that simple, folks. Okay, so then the next step after step two, flipping the focus, is step three. For me, it's really helpful to go back to my why, back to my purpose around time. So once I recognize my belief, I think of, well, what's my purpose around time? What do I want with time? Be I want, <laughs> besides to be on time, I want to live life's precious moments. I want to be there for the sons giggling at the table. I want to be there for every sports game or for breakfast, lunch, and dinner if we so choose with our kids, right? So, right, we don't. so we just schedule that time. So <laughs> he makes it easy. He's like, Laura, just schedule it. It's a choice. And for me, I'm like, well, let me find when I used to feel like we didn't have the time to be able to do those things. Let me find a time even once a week 
week. Like when he used to work around the clock and our life was not the way it is now, I would find the time on a Sunday morning when he wasn't working to be like, I'm so grateful that we are spending Sunday morning together and we're having breakfast together and I want more of this. Okay, so once you've recognized That's it, huge. you flipped mm -hmm. it, and now that is step three. What lens do you want around time that aligns to your purpose and beliefs of why you want it? Why you want it? Okay, and step four is put slow down. Slow down because I would be rushing against time, and I found that when I actually slowed down and became less busy, okay, running, 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 and I slowed down. Do you ever slow down on vacation? If you slow down on vacation and you put on the life on vacay glasses and you start to notice things like the flowers on the table or the waiter being extra nice or your kids feeling like, or your husband feeling super happy because he's recognizing that you're very chill on vacay. <laughs> then all, <laughs> all I have to say is that is a state of mind. Life on vacay, one of my whys and purposes in life, is literally a state of mind. It's a lens. It's a pair of sunglasses you can put on today. And you can just do it for an hour. Just You could just practice it for 15 minutes. Okay, tonight, put on your life on vacay glasses and just look around and see beautiful things instead of all the things out of place. See the people around you having fun and the laughter and the beauty around you like you would when you're on vacation. And same idea. Yeah. These are things that have helped me. Well, I mean, I think, it, again, can we just go back to the idea of I just don't have enough time? Yes, we mm. can. One of the ones that always gets me. <sighs> you hear it all the time. I just don't have the time. And it's that's, again, you're fighting the idea of time. I mean, I've heard it for years, right? But, however, is it do you have enough time or is it you're just not making the choices? <clears throat> We just talked about this. We were bantering back and forth before this broadcast. Go figure. And I was like, Laura, stop. It's not, it's not a question of is there enough time. It's a question of are you making the choice to either do it or not? It's that simple, guys. Right? We all have how many? What was it? What did you say the 168 time was? 168 hours a week. 168 hours a week. Okay? So we all have the same mm -hmm. amount of time. It's what you choose to do during that time. You're going to choose to do it or you're going to choose not to do it. And that's all it is, guys. So that's we're going to apply is. this right now to fitness, nutrition, and mindset. Sure. Are you ready? Because this is, will prepare you for next week's launch. So let's just talk about fitness. When you say you don't have time to work out, I'm way too busy. I'm way too busy, Scott St. John. I know you own some gyms and you do these worldwide workouts and they're 15 minutes, but I don't even have 15 minutes. Again, it's a choice. It's a choice. You can find some place in your schedule to either make that, a, make that a priority or not. That's it. That's it. Either you do it or you don't. You can find the time. And it's not even finding the time. It's finding the decision. Find the decision. You need to find the decision <laughs> to either do it or not. Right. There's a great quote. I'm sure that one of you guys can post it about, you know, is it, it's more of a priority, right? And then yeah, that's the I mean, choice. But again, However, how is your priority made? True. So I look at the 168 hours in a week and I'm like, all right, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. We all have 168 hours a week. I know we all have different things, right? Some people, someone yesterday said, well, I work five jobs. Okay. okay. So what, what do you say about that? Again, it's going to come down to making the decision. It comes down to making a decision. I can't say this enough. Your five jobs might be just as busy as my one, right? It doesn't matter. It does not matter how many things you have going on. It's whether or not you make the decision. I mean, I could just sit here and say decision all day. Just a decision. Because that's all it is. It's a decision. It's a decision. You either choose to do it or you choose not to do it. Mm -hmm. Period. Once you choose to do it, you will find the time. Absolutely. Okay, because you just when you choose done. to do it, you cut off the other possibilities that are literally distracting you from time. So decision is your BFF when you feel like you don't have enough time. And this indecision of like, can, should I do this or should I do that is, is your ultimate Ooh. enemy. So flip the decision making to create more time, make the decision like Scott St. John says, and just go for it. So here's how I do it. Okay, this is what's helpful to me. With fitness, I say, I'm gonna work out three hours a week. So I look at the 168 hours of your seven days of the week and I say, holy moly, instead of feeling like I don't have enough time to work out, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna work out three hours and holy moly, I still have 165 hours left. 
Okay, that's plenty of time. That's plenty of time. I know you don't do that way, but that's what helps me. Okay, so that's it. I do three 15 minute worldwide workouts that we produce for free online here at Strong Covenant Living. Boom. Okay, I know I'm gonna, I have to show up to those. I'm like the Vanna, right? So I have to go to that. There's no choice there. The second two things that I do is I make sure I sign up for two one hour classes at a local gym. Okay, we know a local gym. You guys sign up at a local gym for two hours or go for a walk or do yoga or find two other hours. So that would be my recommendation launching into the six week challenge, finding those three hours. And he would say, don't find them, Laura. Don't find them. Just do it. Just do it. It's that's again, it's God darn it. I just talk. I mean, I, we talk about this all the time. That's why I just sit here and shake my head a lot because it, you can make it K I F S, right? Keep it F and simple because if you just make the decision to do it, then time is not even of value. You're just like, oh, it's this point in my day where I do this. It's this point in the day where I do that. It's this point in the day where I do this. And you just go through your day like there is no time. That's astonishing because I think time is of all value. So maybe that's why I like make it so precious for every single moment. So we're going to work on that. And I love that idea. What is just decisions all day long. It is choices all day long. So let's apply that now. We've applied it to fitness. Let's apply it to meal prep. Okay, mm -hmm. same idea. Mm -hmm. Consolidate. So workout design. I work out the kind of workout that we work out, like worldwide workout, because I feel like it's the most effective, again, for my time. Instead of working out every single day, I'm like, give me the hardest thing in 15 minutes. I'm going to crush it because it's going to amp up my metabolism and make me feel amazing. Same thing with the meal prep. When you feel that it's a decision in your life that is so important to you and your family, then you will go to like Costco or you'll go to a local food store. You'll, 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 you'll cook you'll a lot it. and you'll prep and your fridge will look like ours looks right yeah, now. I'm pretty great. excited. Yeah. And you will make the time. You'll also recognize that there's amazing Shh. sources. You don't make the time. Oh my goodness. You don't make the time. <laughs> This is, again, see, this is where we, see, this is, see, we do this ourselves, guys, <laughs> but you don't make the time. You make the decision. Make the decision. I'm going to change my language. I love this. When I made the decision that it's a priority. We did it. We just go to the supermarket. Boom, done. it's done. Okay? <laughs> when we make the decision yes. to have amazing supermarket go girl. nutrition. Go girl. It's in my cabinet. <laughs> I'm like breaking through right on air. Uh, here we go. You know, then I had an amazing shake because I'm like, I could shake this up. It's amazing. Boom, this is a priority. Yes. This is a decision, a decision to have healthy fast food instead of unhealthy fast food. Yes. Right? Instead of yes. running into the supermarket or grabbing things on the go, I can grab a shake. Yes. Boom. That's awesome. Yes. And then the same thing with the biz. If you feel like you can't make time to launch a business, you can find, if you make it a decision, Yes. and you make it a priority. You don't make the time for it. You just make the decision to do it. Just make the decision to do it. Time is not against I you, Laura. I love the new 90-day action plan because if you are just even considering launching Isogenics as a part-time business, they gave fantastic yes. uh, examples of just a 15-minute here and there versus is that a power DM? hour. Yeah, it's all in Isogenics. We should put business. that link in here. We'll put that link in yeah, here, guys. It's so you can amazing. See it. So, okay, guys, that's the wrap. So instead of making time or flowing against time and all that, it's just prioritizing. And making the decision. And going. That's it. That's it. Choices and decisions. KIFS. All day long. Can't all be day. more KIFS than that. Love you guys. Share this out. Tomorrow is about what to order for Isogenics for our six week launch next week um, on January 22nd. So that's tomorrow's broadcast. Thursday is all about measurements. Oh. Oh, and yeah. Friday is Friday Food Shop Day. So we are preparing you for the launch on January 22nd. We are going for 10,000 members here Come in Come on, our guys. We need your help. We need your help. The people in that you know will benefit from our six week uh, action plan, both from the Belly Buster Challenge as well as the biz side. Just share it out. Spread the love, guys. Have an amazing day. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Bye.